Alright, hello everyone, my name is Yu and welcome to Better Gaming. So in this video I want to show you how you can turn your ROG Ally into a Steam Deck. Alright, and for that we will install Chimera OS, which is an operating system for the ROG. You can actually use it also on uh, other devices like on Windows or a computer, etc. And I will show you here from A to Z how you can do everything, set it up so that it is like a Steam Deck. So let's just don't talk too much and start. Alright guys, now what you actually need for doing this is at least a dock station on which you have like at least three USB hubs then you will need to have an Ethernet cable connection on it and two USB sticks one should be around 8 gigabytes and the other should be around 128 to how much you can get actually a keyboard which you can connect on your dock station and of course the ROG ally itself and those are like the things which we need for actually doing this whole thing okay let's go then alright guys you want to connect your USB stick with your computer and you want to go to this side Balena Etcher alright you will, you will need to scroll a little bit down and download here the installer one okay the portable one don't work so just download the installer one then next to it what we want to download is here on this side the Chimera OS, like uh, the newest unstable version, alright? This is like the official unstable version, which means it's a pre-release, okay? As you can see here. If you click um, on Chimera OS um, inside the description, you will get either to this side here, which means that the official version isn't released right now. Or if the official version is released, you can uh, you will get here to this side and then it will can, you can just click here on download, okay? But right now it, it isn't uh, released right now as the, as the ROG ally is very, very new, okay? So what I want to say right now is that you just need like this ISO file here. And if you click on the inside the description, this here would be actually the better version. But we can't do this at this moment, okay? So what, what we need to do actually are some side things uh, which we later on don't need to do actually, okay? Now if we have like this uh, Balena Etcher setup um, downloaded, we can actually start it and connect our little 8, giga, 8 to 16 gigabyte USB with our computer. I also have now the Chimera OS downloaded, so I will click here on flash from file. I will go here to this Chimera OS. I will double click it. I will choose here the USB which I have for actually booting the installer inside the BIOS and then at the very end I will click here on flash. Once the flash is completed we can actually close this here. We can take out our USB stick and then afterwards we will we want to connect it with our dock station, okay? Our USB stick is right now prepared for actually using it on the device itself, on the ROG Ally. Now what you actually need is a dock station, okay? And I will show it to you in a second. Now, now, now guys. I just wanted to show you here now, now the things, how I did it here. Uh, first things first, have here my 16 gigabyte USB and I will connect this now here to my uh, dock station. As you can see, this is my dock station, okay? I have here the power up cable, I have you now the 16 gigabyte uh, uh, USB stick, I have the 128 USB, uh, gigabyte USB stick, then I have here uh, a keyboard connected actually. Th this is the keyboard of my computer, this here is the keyboard which I have connected to the dock station, then I have an Ethernet cable here connected to it, and this is everything you need, okay? At the very end, a USB-C to USB-C, for actually having it connected here to the ROG Ally, as you can see here, okay? Now guys, what I'm going to do is to restart the console actually, okay? We have everything here connected and I'm going to restart the console now. Now when you see this, you want to click on the volume down button here, okay? You want, you want to hold it, you want to hold it. And so you come here inside the BIOS of the ROG Ally. And as you can see, we will have here like three boot options. Now, the first thing what we want to do is to click on Y. We will get to the advanced mode. We want to go one to the right, two to the right. And we want to uh, disable the fast boot, okay? Click here on disabled. We will go to security. I will go down to secure boot and disable this two here. And then at the very end, what we want to do, as you can see, we have a legend here. We want to save it with this button here, which is here on the top left, then we click on OK. And what it will do, it will restart the console with the settings which we've just uh, set it right now. Volume down while this here happens. Boom. And what we want to do now is to click here on boot menu. We want to go down and we want to click on WFP USB. We will click A on it. And as you can see, install Chimera OS. We will click on this one here. Now as you can see we have DEVSDA and we have DEVSDB, okay? And now the, the thing is that uh, this here won't work anymore. So what we need right now 
is actually to have our keyboard which I talked earlier before as you can see this is our keyboard and if we click here on that as you can see it will move uh, up and down now what we want to do is actually go down to to DEV SDB okay and we want to click here on enter then warning DEV SDB appears to have another system uh, deployed would you like to repair the install? I will click here now on no. So DEV SDB will now be formatted. Uh, all data on the disk will be lost. Okay, yes. Now it, it asked me, it, it told me that bef uh, because I firstly installed it so that I can show it to you flawless right now. Now as you can see, what we want to do here, we have now the standard install and the advanced install. Okay. What we want to do is to click on advanced install here and then click use firmware override. Now it's downloading the Sh Chimera OS actually. After the download, there stands extracting and installing system image. This may take some time. Okay, and this will this will go around five minutes. Installation successful completed. Would you like restart the computer now? Then click enter. Yes. Then I don't think that we need to go into the BIOS. Let's check that out quickly. As you can see, the light shuts off here. We will just need to wait here. The black screen is, I think, normal. It just takes all the time if you want to boot up into the into the Chimera OS. It just takes a little bit until it uh it, until it's booting up. So let's just give it like about one minute more and boom, as you can see, it will take about one to two minutes actually until it's booting up. But as you can see, we have now fully Chimera OS installed here on our Rogue Ally guys. And this is absolutely dope. We have now here the Play Store on which we can like download any specific emulator with which we want to have like a Nintendo 3DS and much, much, much more as you can see here, you click on play can search here through for everything actually what we want to do is to have steam actually as you can see you will just need to click on steam while you aren't downloading anything else here now we want to do first things first we want to have like our sound here right and uh, bluetooth uh, activated because this is the unstable version it won't work but we can activate it here for testing it actually what we want to do is to open up the console here okay now we need to write a little bit of linux here inside okay okay first things first you need to type in this like me here then afterwards you want to click on enter okay then as you can see here there's that password for gamer and uh, if you have it installed like me here then the password for gamer will be gamer so you will just need to type in g-a-m-e-r and you won't see anything here just click afterwards enter and this is normal here okay what we're actually doing right now is we want to change like the version which we've just installed to the unstable one so that we can actually change some settings here inside because right now we don't have like any bluetooth or any wi-fi connections or any sound okay and those three those three things are available afterwards all right guys and once everything's done here we'll start complete restart to boot into Shimura os 43 and what you want to do actually for that is holding the power button for about 10 seconds okay so you don't just wait until it shut it off, you will uh, need to hold it for like 6 seconds more. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. Once you did that, you can let it go and once again start the console. Alright guys, once you are here in Chimaura OS, you can just click here on that and then here and then open up the console once again. You want to type in actually this here, this command here and you want to type in enter, okay? Then once again you want to type in the password which is G-A-M-E-R So for gamer the password is gamer Then once you're here inside you want to click on Control o Then enter Then Control x At the very end you want to type in this here, click enter and voila It will install now everything which we wanted to have installed And once we did that actually This here is the sound it, uh, Those are like the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections which we have just right now installed, so everything should be set it up right now. After we just after we just uh, restart the whole console once again with holding the power button for like about 10 seconds. Okay, as you can see, it is white right here until this flashes off. Boom, and once that once that is off, we can just start the console again. All right, guys, and once we are here inside, what we can do actually, as you can see, we got no sound. We have now the setting of Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here activated, okay? Which means if we go to Bluetooth here, type here for activating it actually, and it will find things actually. I'm just going to search the, for the controller right now here. Wireless controller, we want to connect with that one. Oh, and we have it connected. And as you can see, we are now connected with our uh, controller here actually. 
as you can see it will find everything here which is also very very dope now the cool thing about Chimera OS is that you have actually the game mode here boom shakalaka now as you can see we are inside the game mode and we can now also use as you can see here our PlayStation controller for it, which is actually very, very, very super duper psycho micro great, actually. Isn't that great, guys? This is this is so huge, if you ask me. We can go to the menu like this, we can go to the settings. Yeah. And what we can do now is, like, playing Terraria. I just, I just wanted to download, like, a very, very small game so that you can see quickly how it looks like and how it works. And that it works, like, literally one-to-one -one like the Steam Deck. And as you can see, the sounds are working very very well here. Let's go and generating the world is like like just rushing through, bro. Oh yeah, if you want to be if you want to be more informed etc, then you definitely need to check out their Discord which is actually here right now. Underneath the category development inside the hardware channel, you have here a thread which is for our, for the ROG Ally development. And I will definitely copy a link inside the description so that you can see it here inside. As you can see, I've just asked a lot uh, here the others and I was like a lot with them here in confrontation, etc. And they, 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 they're they very, very hard working here actually. And uh, they also um, they also said that the official support will come very, very, very soon. And the ROG ally will be definitely very good supported by them. And this is a very cool thing if you ask me. I literally like that. And yeah, give them some props here. They are doing very, very good things here. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about the ROG Ally and uh, Chimera OS on inside of it, uh, which which makes it actually to a Steam Deck 2, which is a very cool thing because we have now both system in one. And the ROG Ally is a little stronger than the Steam Deck, which makes it to me a very, very cool option to have at the very end. So guys, let me know in the comments what you, what, what you think, uh, how you like this video, etc. What you want to see more in the near future, etc. And yeah, it was very, very a uh, lot of fun to do this. And I need to say that I can't wait to bring like more stuff here inside. So yeah, guys, don't you ever forget to smile. My name is you. I love all of you. Peace.